guys, welcome back to my channel and to a home vlog today. We're gonna hang out for the day. It is Saturday and it is so hot and beautiful outside. We've suddenly got a bit of a heat wave going on in the UK, so we've had basically rain for weeks, but we're not here to talk about the weather, are we? So we're gonna hang out today. I've got some jobs that need doing. You know the jobs that you just put off? The ones that you like, don't need doing all the time and you basically procrastinate on them until they desperately need doing. So we're gonna be doing that today. A bit of house organization, sorting, some cleaning, some bits and bobs in the garden. Uh, the children have actually had a sleepover last night with our, like, their god brother. So our god, their godparents' son. And it's so cute, because I just love it so much that they can just like pop over and then they're like, can we sleep over? And it's, you know, there's like really simple childhood memories that just create this like, beautiful childhood memory, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I don't think I ever had that growing up, so it's really nice I can give that to our children. And uh, yeah, so anyway, they he's still here, and we're gonna just sort of entertain, they, they basically entertain each other, which does us a favor, because it means that we can get the jobs done. I'm just looking at my hair because it is a bit of a mess. It's, uh, I'm not gonna make any effort, get dressed properly, scruffy clothes. I did just put some lipstick on just so I didn't look quite so um, dead. <laughs> because, you know, when you're like feeling like you're just not very um, presentable, lippy, my friends, always help. So anyway, yes, it's gonna be a home vlog today, a catch up, jobs that we've been putting off, a um, bit of cleaning, a bit of a, Let's see what happens with the day. So yeah, enjoy it, strap in, get a cup of tea or coffee on the go, or a cold drink if you're watching this and it's boiling where you are, and let's get into the video. I feel like everyone is doing the big jobs this weekend. Doesn't it just make you feel much more productive and like you have more energy? And yeah, you wanna get out and do these things. So luckily we've not long done a lot of stuff in the garden. Um, but yeah, the bush is desperately needing to be trimmed. I'll show you it in a second. It's basically next door's ivy that's come over and it is just gonna drag the fence down soon because it's all over it. And obviously they, the previous owners must have kept on top of it, so we need to do the same. Um, but yeah, that's the next job. I've got the most disgusting, I can't even tell you, it's literally grim job to do now. I'm gonna show it to you though because we ain't perfect over here. So I'm gonna show you that and Hopefully, if you have the same, you'll know that you're not alone. This is distracting me, the fact that I'm in the back and the front of this shop. Uh, but yeah, disgust, disgusting job that needs to be doing that I've been putting off for ages. Let's go. That is absolutely grim, but I don't know if you can see, that there is like a build up of what I would imagine. This is like a build up of gel, which I imagine is from the conditioner. Let's get rid of that, because it's this was basically not flushing through. at the moment precarious uh, but the fast is over guys 11 a.m. today because I ate a bit early last night so I went to see um, Little Mermaid at the cinema with all my girlfriends which was really really nice we haven't been out together for ages um, but the boys this morning as their dad breakfast their second breakfast actually because I gave them some Cheerios when they wake up uh, is pancakes so I actually bought them which is obviously not the frugal way of doing it but Sure, it's the quick way. So I'm gonna put two of these in the microwave and they just literally take 30 seconds. These are from Aldi. And um, yeah, quite nice ones actually. And I've got some strawberries and a little bit of bacon. So I'm gonna pop those in. Literally for like, 
still here. 30 seconds. Actually, they can use as well. Um, but yeah, the boy's playing. In fact, so the little boy that's sleeping over, he's like our, the boy's god brother. Um, his bigger sister has just come up to see us. So they're now playing a game, which is good because she is older, so she can read the rules and understand. So big potato games we've used for years, and they've actually just sent me one as a gift. So that's really nice because they will love that. It's called Block Party, and it's a little bit like um, Minecraft, but real. So you're basically making real um, things out of tiny little blocks, I'll show you. It's like a game to like, you get a thing that you have to make and then you do it in a timer. So that looks really fun and really simple as well. So yeah, Dulcie's here, she's gonna help us with that. I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. Just got the towels going on now and then I'm just gonna wash out that really gross, like please tell me I'm not alone. I've not ever looked in there. And that is disgusting. Uh, really gross tray for washing up. Anyway, pancake time, I'm starving. While we're playing, and the sun is shining. I'm so happy today. Grim. You know, these are like these jobs around the house that you sort of never get to, unless you actually do this all the time, then good for you, because I do not. I could actually, oh my god, I don't like that. It needs to be done, you know. Um, we've got two more children in the house now, so my friend's eldest daughter's gone home. They're doing some bits in their garden, and then we've got the neighbours in, which boys always love playing with. As I say, it's like one of those things I just love about the house, like having to, like being able to have the friends over and stuff and then play and it's just so sweet. And something we always like, we never had before because we didn't have any young children where we live, so they never got to like play or anything. So yeah, it's really nice that I got to have friends that are local, like literally yeah, right next to us. Um, but yeah, so this is all clean. I've done this job and uh, that's going to go back in now and hopefully unless like it's coming out of something back here oh yeah it's all chalked up in there that's the other thing as well chalk isn't it like we live in a really chalky area but yeah I'm going to put the towels on now and they're, they're going to probably dry within about 30 minutes outside in this heat it's so hot my pancakes by the way were so good I don't often have that sort of thing, so that was yummy. And I might not fast tonight because it's the weekend and you get, on this app that I use, you get like once a week, or do you, if you fast like the rest of the week, you get like a sort of day off where it's called a frosty, which basically means if you um, don't um, fast on that day, then you don't lose your sort of track of like five in a row or whatever. Bless you. So yes, I might use that tonight so that we can um, like have a late tonight together. Otherwise you have to sort of like end quite early. But anyway, right, this is from a Costco haul. I just watched a program on Costco actually and I feel like I need to go back just to like go into it without it being so busy. Like, because we didn't have much time when we went and yeah, I feel like I could do with going back just to take it all a little bit more and know a bit more about it and how it all works. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Right, yeah, that's going straight down. So what was happening before, it was like literally getting stuck at the um, on the top because it was full of water. So anyway, let's get these on and then get yeah, on with the next job. Today's job, which is a mammoth one. This is not a fence, but it's covered in ivy and it's literally going to pull the fence down soon because it's so heavy. So we're going to trim it back whilst underneath it's not too dead. So this is like the old growth here and then all the new growth is this lime green colour. Oh, he's got his ladder out. 
So yes, that's the mammoth job because it goes the whole length down there. And then I want to pull out some of these dead leaves, but it's so sharp. Um, but yeah, that lots of that is dead. I don't know if you've known any sort of care instructions for these plants. I don't know if they like lots of water or not enough water because it, I don't know, it's quite chocolate, doesn't it? It's like a palm of some sort. This one doesn't look so bad. Actually, it's looking really good in the middle. Oh, apart from that. But it's looking sort of thicker in the middle. With this one sort of, I'm not sure what's going on here. What am I doing wrong? Is there any tips? I know you guys know all the gardening tips. Let me know. Also, I've got my mealworms here for the robins. I put them this side because there's a little birdhouse there. I don't know if you can see in there. Probably. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, so I've got that going on. And then I thought it was a bit quieter for them to have that there. Just planted some leftover pansies in there. Okay, we're going to need some well. sort of a skip. Yeah, I know. We need to get rid of that chair because um, it's gone all bad and rusty. Mind that for my birds, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised this whole time I have been filming with I've got like a sort of sports bra look thing on and you know I don't know if women you know this they come with like a little insert over the boob and when you wash them sorry just look at my birds they're just coming for some food. When you wash them, all the like insect bits go awry, go all over the place, and they're like be really uneven. So yeah, if you've noticed that, that's why that is. Uh, kids have finished playing this game, and as per, oh, so dark, um, we're left with the clear up mission. But that was so cool. It's like this bump thing. I'm glad I missed it, because um, Henry was so surprised. But yeah, this is a really good game. They really enjoyed it. It's basically like, I said Minecraft, but for um, actual physical things. So you just build things with the blocks. But yeah, time for mum to put it away, apparently. So good, I don't know where they're from, but they're really nice. Um, kids, attention span of about 20 seconds with every game they want to try something new after like 20 seconds. I'm going to break for lunch now, get them some food, might do hot dogs. Oh, by the way, we've just gone through our sun cream collection. A lot of this is from last, the beginning of last year, so it will need to be replaced because it won't last more than 12 months. It says like 12M there. And because it's sun cream, I just wouldn't mess around with it letting letting it go out of date. So we've just been to Home Bargains, what Stu has, and he's bought a new one, which is like the spray one. These ones are really good for like, if you're doing your back or children on the beach, is really good because you have to rub it in with the sand, which like is quite grainy, obviously, on the skin. So yeah, just a note to self, if you have got old sun cream, renew it each year because it won't protect you as much as it should. Okay, I'm gonna go and tackle the sharp spiky palm bush now. I'm gonna have to try and find some gloves and cut it down because I don't want the dead growth to stop the live growth coming through. I don't know why one's looking so good in the middle and then the other one isn't. Any tips let me know because it's my first time with those sort of plants uh, but the, the bush is looking really good that's all done now and we're just going to go around and do some other bits of the garden now just at, like just before they get a little bit too overgrown just try and keep it manageable 
like little bite-sized bits of manageable work so that then once like the summer's over you don't need to do the whole thing so yeah we're going to do it throughout the year Stu's has done all of the garden outside the front all the grass like mowed it all um which took ages and ages um but yeah that's all looking good now my flowers are all blooming and yeah i'm just really happy i just love it so much even though it's chores it's just i love this like slow living just mindful intentional little activities and the children have been really occupied as well which has been nice so it's meant that we don't feel guilty not playing with them because they're too busy playing with their friends so yes that slow living just getting stuff done is part of like one of the best things i love about it uh but yeah anyway let's go and do the rest of that much a carpet of green it's looking much better already this is something you don't want to be digging okay because okay? that's yeah. a good flower and that one don't dig that it is warm out there probably got like mud and dirt all over my face making more mess than we've actually tidied but just had a delivery which wasn't meant to be here today so that's good um, and the boys are going to absolutely love it let me show you what it is i'll show you when they look a bit more impressive they are reusable water balloons so they're going to love that and obviously it's not going to be too much for the environment and also i bought these which are for the wisteria to train it along the fence because last year it was just like a mass of leaves and didn't flower so yeah i'll link these for you in the description bar if you're looking for the same thing hopefully they should be pretty cool i'll show you what they look like so that needs to get a bit further um but yeah should be quite a good way to get this into there last year it didn't really flower or anything so hopefully just sort of train it to go along because otherwise it's just like one big mess there okay that's done I can't do any more at the moment because it's not long enough yet but as and when I'll add to it Still. Look at this stone. What did you find? Found any treasure yet? That is a ginormous hole you've got going on for some reason. We're not stopping. Right, okay. I'm on Until here. Until we find Actually, our least stop some doll. We're in the sleepers. Yeah, let's give them a test before the kids see them. So you just basically fill them up with water like that. And then let's see how they go. 
Yay! They're gonna love that. They can just keep coming over and refilling them. Keep them busy because they're digging up the garden at the moment. Done. That looks so much better. Let me stand back a bit so you can see. It looks ginormous, like it looks so much bigger. I love it. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope I've kept you company if you're watching this alone or just giving you some inspiration to get on and do those jobs that you can't be bothered to do or declutter, cleaning motivation. I always feel so much better when they're done. As always, when I talk about my minimalism and decluttering videos, it's once it's done. That's the feeling we're going for. Uh, the children have had a lovely day and yeah, we've got the rest of the weekend now to enjoy, hopefully in the sunshine, uh, but this will be going up Sunday. So yeah, I hope you had a nice weekend and it's a bank holiday in the UK, yay, another one. We've had like three in the last month. I don't know why they did that with the King's coronation, like put it in the middle of two bank holidays. Do it in like, June or July at least when there's no bank holidays. But anyway, what do you have in America? Do you have like, what is Labor Day? Would that be a bank holiday? I think you must call them something else. But yeah, so this one now is the last one till August, which is ages away. But it will be here in the blink of an eye. And then we're working towards a special birthday coming up. Ooh! Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye.